Shannon, I did not want to see you tonight. No, I didn't want to be here. What happened? Um, they just, they, they all turned on me. They all stabbed me in the back and they saw me as a threat. And unfortunately, some of them actually don't know the game. And I think I could have been a really good ally and the offer I made to them was gold and they still didn't take it. So good luck to them. <laughs> I don't know. This game is moving so fast. Mm. Do you think that impacted how the strategy played out for you? Well, that definitely impacted how I decided to play because normally in a real season, I would have thrown the first bunch of competitions. I never would have come out swinging. But because it was going to go so fast, I mean, I, I, my boyfriend and I talked long about strategy and he's like, you need to go for it because maybe it'll give you a chance in the beginning to create those alliances if you're the first head of household because it's a short season. So. I tried, <laughs> it just didn't, and that twist messed me up too, for sure. Oh, for sure, the gift bag twist. That was lame. I needed <laughs> another twist now, I was waiting for it. I'm like, come on please, a twist today, and it never came, so. Well, you had one vote in your favor. Do you know who that was yet? I'm gonna guess Marissa, but I don't know. It was Brandy Glanville. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, interesting. She kind of wanted you to stay after there was that tearful conversation you guys had. Yeah. I. I tried, I tried a bunch of different things and nobody was biting, so I finally gave up. In terms of playing the game, mm -hmm. what surprised you that you weren't expecting? I would talk to somebody as a friend, just like not even talking game, and somebody would see it and think, oh, they're talking game, they must be aligned. And I know they think that I was working with James as some big final two and I was strategizing against them, and I mean, they're wrong, and that wasn't happening, and they'll see it hopefully. I don't know what was shown, but that's what was frustrating to me is that I was getting attacked for something I didn't do. Like at least if it was something I did and I got caught, I could be like, yeah, I sucked at that and I got caught, but I didn't do it. <laughs> so I'm not really sure what she heard or thinks she saw. Who do you think is the next big target in that house? James is definitely a target, but I know that they're also trying to use him and work with him. But I think the minute they're able to try to like legitimately get rid of him, they probably will, but he's gonna win tonight's HOH, so good luck. Now you went in that house, Marissa was a real friend outside of the house. Well, sort of, I mean, we were more acquaintance, acquaintances okay. because we'd worked together. So the, maybe less shocking that she turned on you than maybe viewers might think. I wasn't shocked, I mean, <laughs> I never really, I mean, I was surprised she wanted to be an ally in the beginning, to tell you the truth, that's not really what I expected, but I mean, we didn't get to know each other when we worked together, so, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not happy with her and Ross, more than anything, even though Ari and Brandy were responsible for this, the fact that she and Ross turned, like, and they kept saying, let's be friends outside the house, that's going to take some time. I'm not ready for that. Yeah, I'm ready for you to go back and watch these episodes and see and the string the pulling. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm definitely not happy with them.